Hello, my name is Joseph Prasker, and my presentation is on saltwater aquaponics and its use to reduce freshwater consumption in growing crops. What is saltwater aquaponics? Aquaponics is a way to grow crops that uses water as the medium instead of traditional soil. It also uses fish and other underwater water creatures to maintain the nutrient level in water. Saltwater aquaponics uses salt water instead of fresh water and will use saltwater creatures such as cod give nutrients back to the plants as the plants filter the water for the creatures. Saltwater aquaponics also is a closed loop system, meaning all you have to do is feed the fish. Saltwater aquaponics also follows the saline agriculture. A little more than 70% of earth is covered in water, in which 97% of the water is sent. This creates a problem of watering crops because the majority need little to no salt in the water they consume, or else they will die. This leaves a large amount of water of salt water available to be used on crops that are more tolerable to salt than paleo. Saline agriculture is agriculture that is growing salt tolerant crops with salt water or in saline soil. Some examples of saline crops would be cabbage. Most crops are, can barely survive in saline soils and will die if there is salt present. One tomato that uses the gene ATNAX1 from the Arbidocystinae plant was created in 2001 by Hong Zai Zhang in Eldorado Bloom. The tomato plant was found to survive and thrive in water with 200 molar moles of NaCl. The gene caused the tomato plant to store 50 times more salt in the leaves that, while keeping the fruit and plant alive. The fruit wasn't affected by the salt level and kept the tomato taste. Some pros to salt water aquaponics is it uses less space because it is usually done in a controlled environment with more plants per square yard than on traditional farmland. It is also a closed loop system, meaning all you have to do is give, mean, meaning the fish give nutrients to the plants, the plants filter the water for the fish, and all you have to do is feed the fish, whether you feed them yourself or you look into producing food in the water for them as well. It also allows more crops to be grown with salt water instead of fresh water, saving more fresh water for other Some cons and drawbacks to saltwater aquaponics are salt is saltwater isn't everywhere. Last time I looked, Kansas isn't near. But one thing that was written by Zendaya or Zendanya is that the tomato I was talking about earlier is able to suck up salt from the soil. So even in Kansas, if the soil is too salty, you can plant the tomatoes and fix it for a regular agriculture. And it would reduce the salt content of the soil, allowing you to use it for regular agriculture. You might be thinking, Joseph, if we can pipe in salt water to Kansas to do aquaponics in. Well, to that, yes and no. Salt water causes heavy corrosion on regular pipes, and the pipes that don't corrode to salt water are super expensive. So unfortunately, if you live far away from the ocean, this isn't a solution for you on a small scale. Just like regular aquaponics or hydroponics, saltwater aquaponics is expensive. As mentioned before, it is usually done in a climate controlled environment, whether it be a greenhouse or a warehouse. There's also a lot of costs that go into startups, such as the cost of the plants, all the different technologies you're going to need, all the lights, as well as the actual saltwater creatures as well, and salt water. So it adds up very quickly. So this is not for the cheap. According to the Texas Demographic Center, Texas population for Jackson Hole's 2010-2015 report, the current expected population for Texas by 2050 is between 30 and 50. And we need to be able to provide, provide fresh water for drinking too. So taking out some crops 
fresh water to salt water would allow us to be able to start preparing and ensuring there will be water for the production of the If you have any questions about saltwater aquaponics, please leave them in the comments and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. As well as here are all the citations for all the information, pictures, and graphs used in this presentation. Thank you.